Hey guys, John here. Um, th pardon me about my voice, I'm getting over a bit of a cold. But um, this is a continuation of the subject from my last video on um, thinking tactically in RPGs when it comes to combat. And I just wanted to give you so an example of what I mean. And uh, here we have uh, basically a dungeon fortress. I called it uh, Fort Courage. Don't ask me why. But, um... Yeah, as you can see, I have... Uh, but I believe I intended this actually to be, like, a goblin fortress. But, um... Yeah, as you can see, you know, outside they have pits dug to stop intruders. They have arrow slits here with archers and a leader there. More arrow slits. Um, they're actually their front entrance is actually a dead end, you know, to be kind of like you know, oh ha ha, we got we got you, you know. I've actually designed other ones of these that um, have like a iron gate that comes down and seals them in, while the the enemy fires arrows. Yeah, it's that's just something neat. Um. I have a couple secret doors. Um, the first secret door here. And uh, we won't turn it. Um, this has got another like battalion or one type of warband there. Um, to rush out and aid the ones already out, the soldiers already out in the battlefield fighting. Um, Secret center is here, which is meant to actually as a trap. It's to uh, it's got some caltrips or some broken glass here that'll hinder like the players entering, and then you know the goblins will you know surprise from the trench here. That's yeah, something there. Um, also got a bunch of goblins around the holes there, the corridors there. Got a punji pit there. Uh, the rear guards here. And the treasure room. Which actually, this red stuff is actually stun jelly. It's a cre uh, creature from a first edition feed folio. Where uh, it actually st you know, it sticks to you and it like can give the appearance that. Um, Gold coins are in the wall, so you say, you know, like they might go in and get it, or if there's like a magic sword on the wall, you know, the PCs will reach out and get it, but then like this jelly starts attacking them, almost like the blob, basically. But, um, yeah, um, that's just one of my many dungeon designs that has, you know, enemy defenses. And, it, you know, um, yeah, um, I love to know. Uh, as always, uh, I love to know what you think about this. Um, uh, just because I like to know what you think, um, and tell me how you guys, uh, if you guys do this sort of thing, how you how you do it, or uh, if you know you don't do it, you know, I hope you guys start doing it because you know it's really fun and it it's a different level of play because once you kind of start getting into it and start you know setting up like booby traps like cow traps or you know like murder holes or whatever it it's just it's fun to do and it's it really actually shows um at least for me it shows my sadistic side and how just devilish i am as a dm but you know that's okay because we're all here to have fun yeah. You know? Yeah, we're all here to have fun and kill monsters, and if you die in the process, oh, you die as a hero. Uh, but yeah, anyway. I hope you like that. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm John, and as always, happy gaming!